Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of What Did I Get Myself Into? Hope everybody's new year is going off with a bang. Uh, but today I'm very excited. Uh, we're going to be solving a new puzzle uh, by Christian Cormier. And it's called Billiard. Uh, this is the third puzzle that he's created. Uh, the first previous two were Father and Son uh, and another fantastic puzzle called Plant Cycle. And this one, again, it's called Billiard. Uh, before we start, I want to give a big shout out to my friend Derek, uh, who very generously loaned me his copy of Billiard for me to solve and share with you guys. So thank you, Derek, very much. I appreciate it. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to open it up. When it arrives, it, it comes in this uh, corrugated cardboard box. Nice. And this is Billiard. Uh, if you're not familiar with billiard, uh, it's a, a pool table. The challenge to this is there's an eight ball in here, and that's the goal. Get the eight ball out. Uh, you know, when you're first looking at it, the, what stands out is obviously it's a pool table. So if you set it down, and for you guys looking above, this is the side view of it, so these would be your feet. And then you're gonna see this particular one is number 78 out of 100. Chris's signature here, the name Billiard. It looks like there's two rubber bands here are part of this puzzle. Uh, so he gave explicit directions to people, do not discard the rubber bands. They are part of this puzzle. Spoiler alert, I'm going to attempt to solve this puzzle. I know this is hard. I'm going to attempt to solve this today without any hints and tips. Um, I'm a glutton for punishment. Um, but let's get into this. So like I said, I do know that these rubber bands are part of the puzzle. I don't know if it's covering a hole or something. Let me just take them off. Okay, nothing under that one. Let's see here. Take off the second rubber band. And nothing here. And it looks like there's some feet here. Oh, okay. That was interesting. The feet do turn. Oh, and they pull out also. Looks like they all turn and they all pull out. We're going to come back to these now, just keep looking around. And then if you're familiar with pool, you have a variety of balls and the goal is to shoot them in these pockets. So uh, it makes sense that the top of this looks like a pool table. So you have your six pockets. And then if you look into the pockets, it looks like, I'm gonna say balls or bearings. And there's nothing else that I can see. And these two pockets, if you can see that there, there looks like there's two balls, one here and one here. And there's really nothing else you can see. It does look like from here on the top that this will eventually slide. So I imagine that the eight ball will be inside here. And I suspect that this top will slide. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, well, all right. All right, so yeah, this top is <laughs> nice. This top is gonna slide off and Eventually, uh, we'll get to the eight ball. And I'm not certain what the metal is, if it's aluminum, um, anodized aluminum metal, but it's pretty nice. All right, so that was, did not expect that right off the bat. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, now we're, 
Okay, so like I said, there's a rattle in here that clearly affects this table sliding because this position here, that table doesn't come out, but if you slide it this way, nice. All right, so now some of these feet, when you pull, turn this way, some of these feet look considerably looser now. I wonder if these feet hold this table in place and slide this table out. I don't know if you can see here, but underneath this table, I see like a little glimmer right there. I don't know what that is. Oh, hold on. Okay, so when I was showing you that and it tilted, there you go. So that glimmer, that shine, I think it's a ball, but it moved over to this pocket. So if I pull down on that foot underneath it, yeah, now that ball moves back. Okay. There's a lot of rattle in here. So I don't know how many more of these little balls are in here. But I know you guys want to see this puzzle and not hear me. So let's get back to it. We're gonna see if this ball can go anywhere else. Nice. All right, so I'm just hearing these rattles and what we learned from this first, oh, that's locked again. All right, we'll come back to that. What we learned from this first ball here is that when you pull it out, I'm sure you guys can see it. When you pull this foot down, um, this ball gets trapped into that pocket underneath. Um, at first we could see two, but now there's a third one here. I'm wondering if there's six balls and we have to get them into each hole. So let's work on that now. If the balls, when they're in these pockets, if they still rattle, or if it's another ball, So I'm just going to play with each of these feet and see if we can get each pocket to have a ball underneath. All right. Well, so far so good. Here's a, a fifth one or fourth one. Ah! <laughs> each pocket has, it has a ball in, in it now. And just say solved and walk away. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, I love it. People, if you don't know about puzzles or you haven't gotten into puzzles, that feeling that aha, that when you do something, but this is why we like puzzling. That, that feeling, that moment, that aha, that the magnet here. I don't want to lose these balls. If you guys know me, I'm a, I, I get so excited just that this open, but here, are the, these are the six balls that were underneath the pocket. I don't know what this part is, but I'm going to say at this point, let's call this puzzle a sequential discovery. And for those that don't know what that is, sequential discovery essentially means that there are tools that we will find that will be used in this puzzle. And that was right there. I'm so excited. 
and it screws into here, but I don't know why. This is so awesome. So I was sort of right. We look back here. Well, yeah, that's the, so you would have, this is your track where the, those little balls were in. And so it would just move around like that. And then when you pull down the leg, bam. All right. I don't know what this part does. Screws in right here. I'm gonna guess that the eight ball, because they're, they're still holding all the feet. So the eight ball probably maybe under here somewhere. This part seemed to slide. This is just a little tighter here. Oh, oh man! Oh my gosh! This is crazy! <laughs> so, some more pieces. Holy cow! So two more balls, and then <laughs> this, this is awesome. And it looks like these little pins here. Wow. All right, that happened. I don't understand the rubber bands. <laughs> I do know rubber bands are part of this, but I don't know how. If you look in here now, there's one, two, three, four holes. And it just so happens We have these, and where do you think they go? <laughs> it looks like there's, there's something in the way. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, I don't think, I'm trying to push down, but it doesn't, without like stabbing my finger. Pull here. That, it's got to be, I can only imagine, it's got to be to pull that lid off, but I'll tell you, right now, Christian, <laughs> this is awesome. I feel like every puzzle I've, I've solved has been like, like the best puzzle ever, but I mean, they're all just awesome. And this one, we still got a ways to go. You're going the wrong way! Putting the rubber bands around the legs is a horrible idea. <laughs> Sorry if this isn't it, but... No, because it doesn't... The puzzle world right now is like, I'm getting the poster child of needing help. Tell if maybe we... We do know that there's four pins, at least that we can see. I don't know how they're controlled. I thought at first, like turning these might just be my execution is horrible. All right, they must have been here just to help the plate roll. Something's going on here. I think we're 
onto something because dear god let this be the right thing so i keep wondering what this hole is for derek you did tell me don't be afraid to try This might. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please. Okay, so none of these things move now. At least it's something different. <laughs> oh, 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 holy crap. Holy crap. <gasps> Sorry. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. This doesn't look right. Here's what I do, guys. I'm a. If you look here, something just doesn't look right. That's sitting at an angle. So I'm texting Christian and said, first off, I'm not the first person to do this. And. He wrote, unfortunately, it won't be easy to do it that way. And so he's writing now. So what Christian has written me is that I won't damage it if I keep going this direction. Um, if I do, he says he'll fix it. It's not the intended solution. So I can either go back and find the right way or keep trying your way and fight through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit pause. Let everything charge up again try to get this back um, and do it the intended way all right thanks guys and uh, we'll be back okay so we are back and now just to catch you up to speed it is the next day hence the change of clothes and shower and all that good stuff um, I had learned and as you you'll see in the video that we had found the unintended solution and when I say unintended, this is definitely unintended. Uh, I, in fact, thought I had broken this puzzle. Um, I was pretty worried. This was loaned to me by a good friend, Derek. And the last thing I wanted to do was say, thank you for letting me borrow your puzzle and return it in shambles. Um, I wanted to do it the way that it was intended. Um, I think it was a great way to show respect to the puzzle maker. Um, to really have that experience the way that he had planned uh, and intended. Uh, so what I've done is I've put the puzzle back to right before um, I started going south. <laughs> Again, the goal is to find the eight ball. And just to be transparent, I know what to do at this point um, because I had to fix it. <laughs> which sort of you know gave that away um, but again to do the solution the right way um, that part I did not spoil myself uh, for myself with the exception of the one hint that I asked for um, so what I thought was really clever about this puzzle uh, in fact a lot of people had a really hard time with this part these holes those pins fit in those holes perfectly and if you put it in there, that's what these rubber bands are for. You put that there. Now it's as if I was holding it with my fingers. Now the reason that I wanted to do this is that Part of my thought process here is that there's some pins in here. I knew there was a lot of things with like with the feet that have these springs. And so my guess was that this little pin here that's underneath, give it a little bump, little bump. And I don't know if you can tell that, but that pin has dropped down. There's four holes. So we're gonna do one just the same way. Bumping in puzzles is thing you bump, you spin. Um, a lot of puzzles require that. And you see there now, that pin. 
when it drops that rubber band is flush there and so there's another one here now this this one here trickiest part for me uh, and this is where I needed a, a, a little hint and there's that one So we have three of the four pins down, and then the last one. And then what you do, this is where the screw comes into place. Bam. And there's your little eight ball. This thing is so cute. I thought this was a fantastic puzzle. That last step for this one here, uh, that's what I got the hint on, was learning that there were two bumps. Um, I thought this was a fantastic puzzle. It's very well made. The materials are incredible. Um, if you look here, the feet, they're all held in here with these little washers that, and there's a little groove on the feet. And there's these springs that hold that tension. So to put everything back, give your eight ball. Make sure that you put these on the side with two. There we go. Pull these out, that locks it back in place. We'll unscrew this. And we'll put these pins back in. balls let's not forget these and of course butter fingers and these are spares and then this just slides back on give it a little shake so I'd say probably in total, it took me just over five hours. Again, I did have uh, some help. I'm still new, so I mean, they're all sort of hard to me. Christian, I thought you did a fantastic puzzle or fantastic job with, with billiard. Like any puzzle, you're gonna have people that love them and people that don't. Um, but I do know as of today, uh, Christian has sold out of these, so. Uh, fantastic puzzle hope you have some good friends like I had Derek that loaned me his um, maybe somebody will loan you theirs or you'll find them on one of the puzzle auction sites but thanks for watching what did I get myself into see you next time thanks